While you're watching this, all around the world, lives are being saved and futures are being changed. Not by power or politics or grand gestures, but by individuals in your community. People who willingly come together to help and to serve under the international banner of Rotary. <laughs> Across the globe, there are 1.2 million Rotarians from all walks of life. And regardless of their colour or religion or political persuasion, they share a common bond of humanitarian endeavour. All that's required is a little time and a willingness to get involved. We all know what it's like to feel the relief of a weight lifted by a helping hand. And when you pass that action on, the world becomes a better place. It's not only local communities that benefit from Rotary projects. Rotary's humanitarian reach is felt in every hemisphere, helping where it's needed and prompting peace and understanding. No small concept, but it's not as daunting as it sounds. In recent years, Rotary Clubs worldwide have conducted nearly 1.8 million projects. Some are driven by individual clubs, while others draw on the expertise of many clubs working together to produce a global result. Every individual can make a difference, and the rewards are great and truly satisfying. While many of these projects are funded by clubs alone, numerous others also benefit from matching grants provided by the Rotary Foundation. This is a non-profit corporation that is supported solely by voluntary contributions from Rotarians around the world, and it is indeed the engine room of Rotary's efforts to achieve world understanding and peace through humanitarian, educational and cultural exchange programs. With the Foundation's help, more than 50 disadvantaged countries have recently benefited from water sanitation projects. Well over 200 countries now have better education for their children and hope for their future thanks to Rotary literacy programs. Scores of projects have improved the quality of life for disabled adults and children in disadvantaged communities. Farming projects many of them ongoing, have provided tools, systems and practices for the future so that rural communities can retain their culture and identity while producing sustainable outcomes for themselves and local markets. International exchange programs encourage the youth of the world to mix and meet together, allowing them to better understand and appreciate the different cultures of our planet. Rotary health programs have never been more important. Nearly 800 projects, assisted by the Rotary Foundation Fund and spread across 92 countries, have seen Rotarians addressing the issues of medical equipment and supplies, community clinics, the scourge of avoidable blindness, malaria and public health issues, the tragedies and challenges of HIV AIDS, and of course, the goal of ridding the world of polio, which is almost in our grasp. As you can see, Rotarians around the world carry out a broad range of important humanitarian work. But when you cherish life and care about humanity, as Rotarians do, it doesn't feel like work, especially when you share the experience with friends and colleagues. Australian Rotary Clubs are involved in projects at all levels. We've helped with uh, wheelchairs for kids, group study exchange programs, an initiative called Shelterbox Australia, which provides temporary accommodation kits of tents, bedding, food and water purification for refugees around the world suffering the privations of natural disasters. 
The ideals of Rotary are a perfect fit with the Australian ethos of a fair go for all and the willingness to do the right thing. The essence of Rotary is the joy of working and socialising with people who are interested in others, not just themselves. Professional men and women who are prepared to give back as much as they receive from life. Fellows, you've all heard about the devastating bushfires in Victoria. I believe we should do something to assist. So what do you believe our club can do to assist? Any suggestions? And there are a number of Rotarians that must be tradespeople and I'm sure they'd be willing to get down to the affected area to help out. When you come to think about it, a couple of weeks of intensive activity of Rotary tradespeople down here should be able to achieve an enormous amount. There are many Rotary clubs in the affected areas. I'm sure they could organise some ability. The concept of networking is nothing new to Rotary, which has always had great network opportunities, especially for business people. We also have a very simple code of ethics called the four-way test. It reads, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? Wouldn't you rather do business with a Rotarian who lives by this code? And meeting other Rotarians is so very easy because any Rotarian is welcome to visit any other Rotary Club in Australia or around the globe. As the world moves further into the 21st century, life becomes more and more complicated. Modern technology was supposed to make life easier, but for many it's become heartless and even more hopeless. If you care about inequality in your community, if you care about the social injustices you see on the news each night, if you care about the future of our children and our planet, join us. We'd sure make you welcome. We need more good people to help us in our important humanitarian work. So next time you see someone wearing this uh, little gold and blue cog, ask how you can join us. Rotary is fun, it's constructive, it's rewarding, and it is extremely satisfying. Think about it. Sometimes it only takes one individual to change the world.